Welcome back to Arizona Midday. You know, I don't know anyone who doesn't have a problem with sleeping anymore. But listen to this. In a new study, Phoenix ranks 25th in the nation for great cities to sleep. And uh, we've got a guru on sleep right now. And the great thing is he's awake. And he's going to tell us all about it. He is the author. This is Michael Bruce, the author of Good Night, the Sleep Doctor's four-week program to better sleep and better health. And we need this. Yeah. Uh, Michael, I don't know anyone really who isn't just struggling with sleep, but, but Phoenix ranks okay. I mean, how many nights sleep do we get well, on the average? As, as an average right now, Phoenix is getting 22 um, nights per month. Now that may seem like a little bit, but it in <laughs> actuality that's quite good compared to many, many cities around the nation. Why do you think that is? Why are we getting more sleep here? Well, I think we have a great lifestyle here. Um, I think we've got a more relaxed lifestyle here, not as much traffic or unemployment, and so those things are actually contributing to people getting a better night's rest. Right, well what happens to the other seven or eight nights? Well, that's a good question. Oh. So we've still got a ways to go, yes. um, and there's a lot of different things that people can do to get a better night's rest. Okay, like well, we're ready. We want to hear <laughs> about it. <laughs> well, it's amazing how many things will disrupt your sleep. Uh, in the book, I talk a lot about issues surrounding anxiety, caffeine. Even just being a woman can affect your sleep pretty dramatically. Now, can we go back to caffeine for a second? Certainly. Can we have caffeine in the morning, or you just don't want to have it at 9 o'clock at night? I love a good cup of coffee, okay, and I have no problems with people drinking coffee. What I say is drink coffee responsibly. If you are having a hard time sleeping at night, or you're sweating a lot at night, or things are disrupting your sleep at night, take a look at the things that could be affecting you, like caffeine. If you're not having a problem with it, and I've got friends who can, you know, drink an espresso and go right to bed, then that might be fine Boy, as well. good for them. Well, you know, the old brain gets fuzzy if you're not getting a good night's sleep. In fact, if you don't have a good night's sleep, everything is off kilter. What actually happens to us if we're sleep deprived? Well, sleep deprivation is a major concern, um, actually all over the world. We see it specifically with driving, reaction time, thinking or cognition time. We don't think clearly, we're not as creative, and believe it or not, sleep deprivation can lead to weight gain. Well, and I'd heard that, and why is that? Well, it's very interesting. When you're sleep deprived, what happens is, is your metabolism slows down, but your appetite rises. And so what we have happen is high appetite, low metabolism, weight gain. Oh boy, if that is an incentive to get some good night's sleep. Yeah. Um, it seems like we are just all looking for the pill that's gonna make us sleep. Sure. Um, what can we do? What kind of uh, exercise or meditation or what can we do right before we go to sleep to just help relax us and get us in that state? Because a lot of times we go to bed and we think, okay, we're not going to sleep and we don't. Right. Well, there's a couple of different things that I tell people that they want to look at. First of all, if you're not sleeping well, especially if you're female, you may want to ask your physician um, about the possibility of you having sleep apnea. Believe it or not, women specifically when they report insomnia a lot of times can have sleep apnea the second thing is learning how to relax yourself in the book i actually give people a technique called the power down hour where they wow. relax right before bed and they get a copy of the cd as well they can relax meditate you talk about hormones and women in here i'm sure i, sure I do. know well that's another subject yeah, thank you so much michael again good night the sleep doctor's four-week program to better sleep and better health good to see you thank you all righty